In this lesson, we're going to take a look at another logical function, and that is the is blank function, because this can be such a simple and useful little function. So let's dive in. Let's take a look at our data so we can really understand what it is that we're trying to achieve by using this function. So let's start out by taking a look at the data that we're going to be using. So this is just a table full of orders. We have the order number in column B. We then have the item. I couldn't be bothered to think of names of items, so I've just called them item one, item two, so on and so forth. We have the price of the item, and then we have the delivery date if it's been delivered. So wherever we don't have a delivery date, it hasn't been delivered yet. We are still waiting. A bit like me this week with all my Christmas packages that I'm still waiting for every to deliver. But enough about my life issues. Let's get back to the formula. So what we want to do here is we want to produce a status. So if there is a value, a delivery date in column E, we want the status to say delivered. If there isn't a delivery date in column E, we want it to say pending. So basically, wherever we have a blank, it needs to output pending. So how do we do this? Well, this is where we can combine the if formula with the is blank formula. And this is really, really straightforward. So if we click in cell F4, we're going to start out with an if. Now, why are we using an if? Now, remember from my previous videos where we broke down if and I explained what it does, if allows us to assign meaning to a true or false result. So that is why we're starting with if, because we don't want it to say true or false. We want it to say delivered or pending. So we need if in there. We're then going to go straight into is blank. Now, take a look at the little screen tip underneath. It says checks whether a reference is to an empty cell and returns true or false. So the output is going to be true or false. And then we're going to assign meaning to the true or false output using that if. So is blank. Let's open our bracket. We want to select the cell. So because this is in a table, I'm getting the column reference as opposed to the cell reference. So it's telling me the delivery date column, which is perfect. Let's close the bracket. And now I'm back into my if formula. So this is where I can now assign meaning to the output of is blank. So if the cell is blank, what do I want it to say? If it's not blank, what do I want it to say? So if the result of is blank is true, meaning that the cell is blank, it means we're still waiting for it. So we want it to say pending. If the result of is blank is false, meaning that there is a delivery date in there, we want it to say delivered. Close off the if. Let's hit enter and check it out. Now notice it's filled down everything for me. I haven't had to drag down to copy that formula. And that is because my data is in a table. This is one of the magic things about tables is if your data is in a table, when you type in the formula, it will automatically copy it down the rows for you. You don't have to drag. If my data wasn't in a table, I would then have to click on the cross and drag the formula down. So just be aware of that difference. So now every time we have a delivery date in here, it says delivered. When we don't, it says pending. And the cool thing about this, again, because it's in a table, if I was to add more items onto the bottom, for example, let's just add something in here. Let's say item, oops, item, oh my goodness, item 28. <laughs> and let's say that's 53 dollars as soon as I enter in a delivery date. So let's say the 5th of the 5th, 2022, press tab, it changes to delivered. So absolutely brilliant. I could go a stage further and apply conditional formatting. So if I wanted, so if I wanted pending to be highlighted in this list, I could simply select the column in the table, go to the home tab and into conditional formatting. And I'm going to say highlight cells where we have text that contains the word pending. And then I can choose my own custom format if I wanted to. So maybe I want a border around the outside. Maybe I want that to be a dark pink. Let's make sure that we have that applied. Maybe I want the background of the cell to be a lighter pink. And maybe I want the font to be a darker pink and in bold as well. Click on OK, click on OK again. And now those pending orders really stand out. And because we've applied it to the column of this table, 
it will automatically apply this conditional formatting as we add new orders into the bottom. So that is how you can use the if formula along with is blank with a little bit of conditional formatting thrown in for good measure. If you like this video, then you know what to do. Smash that old like button. Give me a follow. It really does help me out. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.